Hello all, my name is Kenneth Rodriguez. This is my presentation for my ethical, advanced ethical hacking class with Dr. Han Ning Aburu. And I go to Florida International University. A little bit about me, I, am, I did my bachelor's in electrical engineering and I'm currently doing my master's in cybersecurity at Florida International University. I currently work as a IT network manager I do a lot of uh, work with Linux computers, Windows computers, a lot of updates, patching, and security. So, what is COFEE? COFEE is Computer Online Forensic Evidence Extractor, or for coffee, coffee for short. So this is a toolkit that was developed by Windows. It's for the use of, of forensic investigators so they can extract information from a Windows computer. Uh, it comes pre-configured in a USB. It contains over 150 tools and it's been around since, since 2007. Free coffee. Coffee is free for law enforcement agencies. Uh, Microsoft gives it away to everyone, the Interpol, uh, many uh, police uh, agencies uh, in the worldwide. Uh, this program, Coffee, is, as we said before, is, is a toolkit, it's a combination of different tools that is automated. So a police officer without no experience can just plug in a USB, click a couple keys, and the program will execute itself and start collecting all these different forensic uh, data that can be obtained. So th this helps uh, police officers with the same common tools that a forensic expert will use. It is simple and customizable and it helps uh, with crimes such as identity theft, online fraud, child pornography and illegal file sharing. W what is in this coffee? <laughs> uh, Coffee, as we mentioned earlier, is a device that connects to a USB port and you auto run it. So it has an auto run script that as soon as you click enter, um, it will execute and it will run all these different tools that are pre-configured on the, on the USB. Uh, it's configured in advance with an investigator selecting which data they wish to export out of the computer. Uh, and again, this only works with Windows computers. This, this software was made by Microsoft for their Windows XP and Windows 7 computers. Now, from what I've been reading online, there's going to be an update. So they're going to be updating all their tools. So they're, uh, they probably already have it. They just haven't released a statement for Windows 10 computers. Uh, Microsoft cited that a job that will take three to four hours can now be done in 20 to 30 minutes with this with this coffee uh, tool. Coffee includes many kind of tools. Some of them are password decryption, internet history recover, and other are data extraction, which is what forensic analysis do. They extract the data that is, is hidden on a computer. Uh, it also records data in volatile, volatile memory, which could be lost if the computer were to shut down. Uh, some of the tools that are included in Coffee are ARP.exe, which displays the address resolution protocol entries that are stored on the local computer, uh, MS Info, which displays a view of the hardware system, different components, different uh, USBs that could be attached to the computer, and the software environment. NetExe, which is a program that I actually used uh, separated from this toolkit that was also in NetTools version 5, I believe. Uh, it lists network information, network use usage, it opens uh, the share files, uh, it lists different user accounts, password age, minimum length, it lists all the computers in the work group, and also the resources available per computer. Even more tools. As, as we mentioned earlier, uh, Coffee has over 150 different tools. So some of them, are, well, NetX that we talked about also included is PS service which it lists all the services that are running on a local or any remote connections. PS list uh, shows the status detail of processes in the, in the tree format and a remote network file lister. And again, this program has many tools, uh, too many to list. So these are only some of the, I feel are very important 
uh, to extract information, especially re regarding data, file listing, uh, there are other applications that can see if you're hiding partitions, hidden folders, scans for password protected files, uh, anything from RAM that could be deleted, again, is saved onto the device. And it's really useful, I mean, especially for, for police that sometimes they just walk in and there's a computer on. All they need to do is put it in, click enter, boom, it's done. Uh, now, sadly, in 2009, Coffee was leaked uh, to the public and Microsoft ordered uh, the websites that were distributing the software to be shut down. Uh, I did a lot of extensive research but sadly Microsoft haven't, hasn't really shared many details uh, how it was leaked uh, but uh, it was taken down by, by Microsoft and at the time Microsoft gave an statement saying that they, they weren't too worried about it because it's a combination of tools that are existing already and the hackers might be using uh, DCAF <laughs> So, Coffee and DCAF. DCAF is the Detect and Eliminate Computer Acquired Forensics. So, this is a tool that was made solely for the purpose of stopping coffee. Uh, it will stop coffee and render the tool ineffective. It will provide real time monitoring of coffee signatures on USB devices and running applications. Uh, it will clear logs, eject USB devices, change MAC passwords, spoofs, uh, IP addresses. Uh, however, in later, late 2009, the creators announced that DCAF was actually a hose, that it was a publicity stunt, and that uh, it was a stunt to raise awareness for better security and the need for better forensic tools. So, no DCAF. The statement that they released was that uh, we hope that you realize this was a stunt to raise awareness for security and the need for better forensic tools, that you will reconsider cutting corners on corporate security. The DCAF website now states that also governments should not rely on a tool to automate the process of forensics, but rather invest in the education of investigators and forensic tool experts. So basically it was a tool saying that it can stop all those automated programs to express the need to have actual people being involved in the forensic analyst. No tool can replace a human, especially on this level of sophistication. Uh, before we go to the conclusion, let me tell you that while reading about DCAF, uh, there are some hints of maybe Microsoft pressure uh, the creators to publish that statement and that uh, the creators published that um, the tool was going to stop working in two weeks after they brought it down. However, uh, they also released a guide on how to stop the, the deactivation of DCAF so the program could still work on, on stopping coffee. However, again, this is a software that if we have nothing to hide, we don't need unless police comes knocking on our door and, and ask for computers and then we have to grab a magnet and kill our hard drive or something. Uh, my conclusion is that there are many tools out there, so be careful guys, uh, make sure you know what you're doing. Also, some of these tools are disguised. Uh, let's say somebody offer you, oh, there, I have the coffee app, uh, the software, come download it. Again, it could be malware, uh, a bait for you to, to download different files. Uh, these tools, when put together, are a great source of, of data, especially for police officers but could also be used by hackers to extract information from your own computer. As most tools, uh, they can be used for good or for bad. Uh, coffee is supposed to be good, but if in the wrong hands, can also extract information from uh, regular Windows computers. As tools get better, so do their countermeasures. Uh, as we saw with DCAF, it was means to stop uh, coffee, but Apparently it was a fake, a stunt, or we're not sure yet. Uh, if it were, there were a lot of, uh, there's not much information on, on the web. I really tried looking and I could not find any. So I'll leave that to you so you can research and decide if it's true or not. Again, uh, the coffee version is online. You can download it, but it's illegal. You shouldn't have it 
Microsoft states that that could get you arrested and a fine, and this is only for uh, police enforcement, uh, law enforcement agencies. Uh, even if the tools are good, the people behind them need to be good too. Okay, so that means that if even if people the tools are good, so somebody without knowledge can come hit a button and get all your information. However, as if there were systems like DCAF, which they are other uh, systems that can uh, stop similar tools, they they can be rendered useless. So you actually need people involved on a day-to-day -day basis in order to capture the, all the data. That's why the data analysis are so important, important, as well as forensics. Not tools can do all the jobs. You need to have some brain and, and know how to use them, use a different combination of them. And again, the people that are doing bad, it's hackers or child pornography holders, they're not stupid they're not stupid either. Sometimes they have very sophisticated methods of stopping the police from collecting evidence, such as uh, magnetic uh, doors. So there was this example a couple of years ago where where a person uh, the police came to a computer to a place and they were taking a computer and as soon as they got out of the bedroom door, the computer fried because uh, all, all around the door it had a magnetic, uh, very strong magnetics that messed up the hardware. So they were not able to recover the evidence. Uh, they did recover some of it and the person was arrested, but a lot of more evidence that could have been there was lost forever. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. I hope you do more research about coffee and decaf. Those softwares are out there. Be careful and see you next time.